I'm the magpie, and I have a little bit of an obsession in regards to awful vintage toy-esque synthesizers and organs, I guess, in this case. This is the superior organ or synthesizer. Honestly, what is the difference to me, like, in... Let's turn it on and listen to how awful it sounds. Uh, very superior in regards to how awful it sounds actually I have uh, had the pleasure of playing around with so many vintage I think this one is from the 70s or something like that it's actually quite hard to find any information whatsoever in regards to it but I have had the pleasure of playing around with quite a substantial amount of vintage budget synth toy-esque things and this one I've actually had for a really long time and it's by far one of the most bad sounding but very interesting lead sound like that sound is so bad cool It's not like an alarm. You only have a one-off, on-off, and a vibrator or normal. Nor it's highly judgmental. You're either normal, or you're vibrating. Yeah, it's very analog, so I think it's just actually redirecting your signal through a yeah, more components or something like that. We also have a tune knob, actually. So it's got one knob, so obviously it's a synthesizer, right? Oh, it can go pretty bassy. I think, in my opinion, what is really, really sad are two things in regards to this one. First being that if we connect it, because yes, it's actually got an output, it doesn't sound at all as glorious as it sounds from its speaker. it just becomes really, really sawtoothy, which is such a bummer. So it needs to drive this speaker that it's got in this lovely speaker cabinet in order for it to get that very, yeah, I would say a really cool bad sound in my opinion. Like I, I really like the sound, but if I am to record it using its lovely speaker cabinet, then uh, <laughs> these are very squeaky. Okay, I guess I can play them. <laughs> like, <laughs> Listen to the squeak. Like a horror movie. Of something coming, rolling in the distance, closer to you. But I think maybe with an SM57 or something like that. I've actually tried circuit bending it back in the day and failed miserably. But it might be something that I aim at doing. But I think for now, I wouldn't try making some music with it. Like, can I harness the crap and, and contextualize it in a way where it's actually really, really cool? Hopefully, let's see, let's try. But I'm also gonna record one note at a time and make a sample pack out of that. An analog weapon can tell you in the comments if he wants to turn it into a decent sampler instrument also because that could be kind of cool and maybe get some I don't know sounds from it uh, so check that out it's all gonna be patreon linked in the description and for channel members as well I will let you know whatever happens but it's really cool I must say that we have these mechanical full-on all of the keys like so many of these plasticky old fake wooden vintage toy synthesizer organs 
you only get the white keys to play and the black keys are there just for fashion so it's cool that we have the function of this so kudos to superior made in hong kong patent pending still pending maybe but yeah i think we're gonna jump straight into trying to polish its head let's see let's see what can we do i have an sm57 so i mean whoa hopefully this is <laughs> this is my pro setup now a thing you probably noticed however that i noticed is that the intonation is really crappy <laughs> That's the song. I wonder what happens if I just auto-tune it. Okay. I think just starting another project is probably better to add it to something than to start with it from scratch. Because <laughs> it's just... It's not very nice. But with some pitch correction, maybe we Ooh. maybe we EQ a bit. Maybe we add a delay. All for this one shitty sound. Still, kind of feel like I want to do something in its, you know, with it as the thing that is the thing. What happens if we do like this? Messy up these two before I do anything else. Uh, I mean, while we have the SM57, might as well try to guitar it. I think something static like that is kind of cool. That's the key. 
Casio. V8N. <laughs>